Before we get into the guide, I did want to briefly address some of the recent issues that have come up with uh, non-DLC owners being unable to do the weekly nightfall and the weekly strike. Bungie has responded to this issue saying all existing strikes and maps are still accessible, but the specific activities like the nightfall will periodically feature expansion 1 content on the week the newest content is live. New public events, updated weapons and gear, new bounties, and of course the steady stream of updates are all available without additional cost to players. Basically what they're saying is if you want to do any of the new content like the strikes or the raid, you're going to have to buy the DLC. And you're only going to be locked out of weekly content every once in a while, like at the very first week of new DLC and whenever it happens to come up in the rotation. It does seem like a very short-sighted decision though because it locks people out of the weekly and nightfall strikes, which they were normally able to do every single week. It also locks people out from being able to get a consistent source of strange coins, which is kind of needed in this new exotic upgrade system. Hopefully they do address this by maybe making some tweaks in the near future. Now onto the guy. Now for some of you, just like me, when I logged on so eager to do the nightfall, I saw that I couldn't actually do it as this is the new dungeon for the DLC. Now here's the things that you're gonna have to do to actually unlock this so you can step foot in there. First, you're gonna need to go to the tower and grab the initial quest from Eris. To get to her, just kind of go to the left from where you spawn in. There's a big ship there, can't really miss her. There's gonna be three story quests that you have to do. Just go through those, they're pretty simple. Go here, kill this, go here, kill this, don't die along the way. It's gonna be introducing you to the story that you'll be doing in the nightfall. The next portion of this is going to have you kill 25 knights or wizards. To do this, I like to just go to the rocket yard on Earth as there's a pretty nice little loop that you can run there that has about four knights in it. Do that a few times and then those 25 knights or wizards should go down pretty easily. After that, you're going to have three new patrol quests that Eris gives you. Again, you're going to have to go back to Earth and select patrol. These are going to be kind of scattered all over the map, so what I like to do is just go off to the right when you spawn in on patrol. Go to the Devil's Lair area. Now as you go through here, there's a little area that kind of has that hive ship that you usually just pass over along the way to the Devil's Lair. There's going to be a little guy doing some little ritual. Kill him, and then it's going to spawn some stuff. The named enemy will spawn there, and that should take care of that patrol. Now, from here, I like to just reload the Earth Patrol as you, you're going to be going on the complete opposite side of the map. When you spawn in, go to the left and go to the giant satellite satellite dish complex on top of that hill. You're going to go in there, go all the way up into that scary hive area. Inside one of the back right corners is going to be a mob that you have to kill. Killing him will trigger a bunch of hive to spawn, so when you do that, be ready to face some waves. Amongst these waves, there's going to be a named elite knight, kill him, and that will take care of that bounty. Now the third one is actually pretty close by. Continue on like you're going to the old loot cave and continue on to the last array area. There's going to be a knight overlooking that nice beautiful vista, do end his life very quickly, and then try to steal some of the loot that's there. Doing this will cause a ship to spawn and there will be eyes of greed everywhere. They're just acolyte guys. Kill all those and that'll take care of that patrol bounty. After you do all those missions, you'll unlock the new strike and the nightfall weeklies. Hopefully this clears up some questions for you guys and you'll be able to get in there really quick. Now, onto the guide for the actual nightfall. It's worth to note this week that I didn't try to solo it as I'm still new to the content and I want to take my time with this. When you spawn in, hop up on your sparrow and go up the hill. Once you enter the building, you're not really going to encounter any enemies until you enter that little area that you first encounter Rasputin in. Stay back in this area, don't really venture too far out, there's a lot of mobs and the damage this week makes all these fallen really really hurt so the idea here I usually just used uh, the new murmur because I felt like leveling it up and another arc damage weapon trying to take these things out as quick as possible the room itself isn't really that difficult all it is is just a lot of mobs it'll come out in a few different waves and they'll all filter towards you if you stay back in this one little tiny room be careful trying to peek out because sometimes there's mobs kind of hiding around the doorway. About halfway through, a bunch of hive will spawn, and the only mobs to really take note here are the thralls that'll try to rush you, and it'll hurt if they hit you a lot, and the boomer knights, which will pretty much one-shot you if they hit you with their big AoE damage. Once you clear through this room, make your way up the stairs. This next room is pretty much the same old thing. There's going to be a bunch of mobs in that last array area, and you can pretty much just stick in this room. Nothing will really come in there too much. If it does come in there, uh, you can, it's probably going to be like one by one. You can take them out with a fusion rifle blast. Now, the only thing to really take note of here in, in this fight is sometimes shanks will spawn inside the room from like 
like behind you. I haven't really been able to figure out where they spawn. Do kill those very quick. They will do a lot of damage to you if they get a flank and numbers on you, and that's an easy way to start over a run. Now, as far as the mobs that go out there, there's going to be some sniper-type vandals. You're going to want to have someone in your group try to counter-snipe them down. There's going to be a bunch of ships that keep spawning and keep throwing in waves, so eventually, you're going to have to push out from this room. My group, we decided to push out once we killed all the snipers. There will be one that's kind of sitting way up high, so you're going to have to push out and then look up to kill him. This entire time, ships are still going to be spawning. You're going to want to be behind cover because they do a giant arc damage blast. That'll one-shot you pretty much, so stay behind cover and peek out, kill some ads. There's going to be a named elite captain amongst all the mobs that are standing on that balcony type area. When you finally kill him, the ships will stop spawning, all the ads will stop spawning, and you'll be able to progress on. Make your way through the area, and you're going to go visit the old loot cave, finally. Go into the downed hive ship and keep going through the Jovian complex. Here you're going to open up a door and then make your way into Omnigol's lair. Take this slow through here there's a lot of mobs that'll spawn there's a lot of arc damage from wizards from boomer knight uh, there's gonna be thralls that'll be rushing you down this giant hill just take it slow we almost had a few wipes here just because you know the splash damage is ridiculous from all the wizards and boomers an ogre will spawn and kind of rush down the hill take priority over him, go back into cover and try to get some fusion rifle or sniper rifle shots on him. Take him out as quick as possible or he will end your run. After you've cleared pretty much all the mobs, make your way up the hill. This little alcove room is going to be where you're going to be doing the fight from to kill Omnigol. Unfortunately, there's really no huge strategy that you can use in this fight other than peek out, kill whatever you can in the short time that you're alive out there, and then run back into cover. There's going to be numerous, numerous mobs, and Omnigol is a kind of a pain to try to kill because anytime you get her shield down, she'll go behind cover, so damage is going to be very slow on her. Hopefully you're doing this with a full group of people, it makes it a little bit easier. If you're brave enough to try to solo this, then take it very slow. Things to take note of during the fight, Omnigol will spawn adds. The only real cue that she gives as she's spawning adds is that she makes kind of this really loud cackling noise. So after she does that, make your way back into cover and, you know, wait for the ads to come come in. There's going to be waves of thralls, and then you take those out, some more knights, and then some more thralls, and then you should be fine. Now, in this little alcove area, occasionally there will be some cursed thralls that will spawn from the side room. You're going to have to watch your radar and just wait for those guys. When those come up, take them out as quick as possible or that will end your run. Once you get into the rhythm of peeking out, doing some damage, and going back into cover, then this fight's really just rinse and repeat. It will take a while. It took us about five minutes to get through this encounter here. But once Omnigold dies, that'll be the end of the run. I hope this guide helps some of you out. Post any questions if you got them. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny.